One of the best things about WordPress is the fact it is infinitely scalable. You have tens of thousands of plugins and thousands of themes and all manner of different things that you can do. But there comes some serious responsibility with that. You can easily add in a plugin and it works perfectly. You add a second plugin, everything is rosy. Add a third plugin and everything goes to the wall and just destroys your website. What do you do? Well, this is where you've got to go back and start deleting plugins and finding out what doesn't work. And on a live site, that absolutely sucks. On a client site that's live and trying to make money, that's your reputation on the line. So today, we're going to look at the easiest way to be able to install and test plugins and themes and updates and everything like that without the stress of actually adding that to the live site. And when everything works, then you can do it. And I'll show you two different methods, both using the same plugin, one with the free version, one with the paid version, and why you may want to look at the paid option as it opens up a lot more flexibility. So the plugin we're using today is WP Vivid Backup and Migration. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this about five years ago and I use this on every single site that I run. So log into your WordPress dashboard and just head over to the plugin section, search for WP Vivid and install and activate the Migration Backup and Staging plugin. Once you've done that, then you're gonna simply come down to the new option inside dashboard for WP Vivid Backup and choose the option for staging. Inside there, you're going to create a staging site. Now, I've created a video showing you how to do all of this. So I'm going to go through this super quickly, but I will link that video down below so you can check it out for yourself. All you need to do is choose in this example, we're going to pop this into the website route. We're going to leave the default name, but you can change that to something that makes more sense to you if you want to. We're going to specify in this particular instance, we're going to install the database and the custom prefix table, and we'll leave everything else as it is. We'll click on create now, and then we're going to give it a few moments to create that staging or backup duplicate copy of our website. There we go. After a couple of minutes, depending upon the size of your website, we now have a staging copy. And if for any reason you don't know what a staging copy is, it's an identical duplicate of your website, generally on the same server as your website that you can log into, do whatever you want to it without impacting your actual live website. And then you can, if you have the pro features, push those changes over, or you can just use it to test things out like we can do with the free version. Let me show you. What we now have is we've got the URL for the homepage and also for the admin. So if we log into the admin, you'll see this looks identical apart from this big orange bar at the top that tells us this is a staging site. Simple as that. If we come into our WP Vivid backup and our staging inside here, you can see it tells us that that's exactly where we are. So we have some slightly different information. We've got the staging site all set up. So now we can say, well, now I want to try a few things out. Let's add an SEO plugin. I'll choose my particular one of choice, which is SEO Press. Again, a really good free version available. Let's install it. I will activate it. Let's say I don't want a little bit of security added to my website. So we'll use Fluent Auth. We'll install that now as well. I will activate it, but we can now go through and make sure that everything is working the way it should do. We've got no problems when it comes to adding those plugins in. And then when we're happy with it, we can do the same thing then on our actual live website, install the same plugins. It's on the same server with all the same settings and everything. So the chances of there being a problem between the staging site and the actual live version in this example is minimal. I'm not saying it won't ever happen. So always make sure you do a backup first. But that's the easy way of just being able to test things out, but it does mean double the work. So the other option is to use the premium or pro version of WP Vivid Backup and Migration. Let me show you the difference. So I've got the pro version of the plugin installed and everything looks the same inside the dashboard. This is a new site now, so it's different. And we take a look, you've got WP Vivid plugin and you can see there's a bunch more options here than we had on the free version. Again though, let's just choose the staging sites option. And you see, it looks a little different, but it's fundamentally the same. And you can see I've already created a staging site with exactly the same options that I showed you inside the free version. So this time, let's log into this new version with the pro options installed. Again, you can see we've got our orange strip at the top to tell us we are in a staging site. And we've got our WP Vivid Backup plugin. And you can see all the options are here. So again, let's come into our plugins and let's just add one plugin. It doesn't really matter too much. Let's add in our Fluent Auth and say Install Now, activate it. And let's just say we've done that and a bunch of other things as well. The cool thing about this is 
the staging site, we're not limited to just adding the plugins in. We can add content in, delete plugins, change content, add new templates, all manner of different things. And we get the benefit of using a staging site and the extra benefit of being able to speed up the process of deploying those changes to our live website. Let me show you. We go back into our live site. We're still in the staging section. And you can see we have these two buttons which we don't have available to us inside the free version. Update the staging site and copy the staging site to live. So let me just quickly explain the difference between the two. The update the staging site means that if we made any changes inside the actual live site and we keep our staging site there, we want to push those over to our staging site so we have the most up-to-date live version on our staging site, we use that first button. However, if you want to do the opposite, so we've made the changes, we've added that extra plugin in onto our actual staging site, we've added some content, whatever. Now we want to push that back over to our live site. We don't have to go and install those plugins manually. We can do it this way. So just to prove it, let's come into the plugin section and say install plugins. And as you can see, I don't have Fluent Auth installed. So we go back into WP Vivid, we'll come back into our staging sites, and we'll say copy the staging site to live. Choose that option. Now it says, right, what do you want to copy over? Do you want to copy over the files and the database? So basically all of your website, just the uploads folder and the database, or do you want custom content? If you just custom content, you can choose what you want to transfer it over. In our example, we're going to pull over the files and the database because whenever you add a plugin in, it's going to add in information into the database anyway. So we'll say copy now and say, okay, and we'll let that carry on. So this will take a few moments depending upon the size of the site that you're actually pushing over from the staging to the live. Once that's done, it'll notify us and it's all been sorted. There you go. After a few moments, we've got a confirmation and we'll click OK. We have to log back in and we are back into our site. So now let's go over into our plugins, installed plugins, and there's Fluent Auth. So if we'd set that up and made changes and all those kinds of things, all of that will be inside here. So by using the staging site, we can easily test everything out on an identical copy to our actual live website. Once we know everything works, we can either do the same if we're using the free plugin, or if we're using the pro or premium plugin, we can push that data over into our live site from our staging site with one simple button press. Now, before we wrap this video, there's a couple of extra things I want to just quickly go over. Some good practice, should we say. First things first is if you are setting things up on a staging site and you want to push those over to a live site like we've seen here or using the free method, please do that after you've made a backup. This plugin is going to allow you to do that for zero cost. Let me just quickly show you how easy it is. All you need to do with the free or the premium plugin installed is simply come over to the manual backup section inside there just choose backup now and you can back up to localhost or if you want to use remote storage things like s3 dropbox those kind of things you can do that but for this example let's just say backup to localhost wordpress files and database click backup now that will create a backup for us then push things over so if anything goes wrong you can reinstall that backup super quickly the other thing is once you finish, if you don't need that stage insight anymore, get rid of it. It's just taking up space. And if you don't need to test things out, well, you don't need that stage insight. And it's super quick to spin another copy up if and when you need it. To do that, all you need to do is come into your stage insights, whether it's in the free or the premium version. And there's an option inside there that allows you to delete it. Choose the delete option, confirm. And that will then go and remove that. So it'll take out all the files, the database entries, all those kinds of good things. And then just your live site is there. But this is the easiest way to be able to test out plugins on your WordPress website. And then once you know they all work, push those over to the live website. You have the choice between the free version and the premium version, depend upon the time and effort you want to put into this process. All applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care. Thank you.